Hi guys! Ravel Point just released one more 3D scanner with the name Inspire, and it's currently on Kickstarter for a few more days. What's the difference between this new model and all previous ones? That's what we will cover in this video. Want to know all the details? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui, and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, after the POP, which is no longer being sold, the POP 2, the POP 3, the Mini and the Range, Revel Point released a new 3D scanner model called Inspire. But what does this new 3D scanner has different when compared with the other models? We have checked the specs, compared the scans between them, and we are now ready to share all with this with you guys. But first, let's check what's inside the box when you order this scanner. Right at the top, we have a calibration board, a black plastic background, markers and blue tack, a round sticker with markers for the turntable, some pamphlets, a cable for the scanner, a cable for the turntable and a tripod, a USB Type-C adapter, the test bust, a small turntable and the scanner. Ok, and this is everything that came inside the package. This is the tripod is a bit different from the tripod that we are used to see with the previous models. The major difference is the top of the tripod. There is a screw to secure the scanner instead of the quick lock and release system from the previous models. The angle change system is also different. With this one we can move the scanner all around and not only just tilt it. The rest is the same. It's more or less the same size and it can be extended as well. And this is the turntable. It's 125 mm in diameter and it's powered by USB. The green LED indicates that there's power connected to the turntable. At the side, there is an on and off switch. The same switch can change from clockwise to counterclockwise direction. There is also a small potentiometer to control the speed of the turntable. And this is the scanner. It has a more rounded shape when compared with the previous models. At the front are the depth and RGB cameras, infrared lights and a white light LED. At the bottom is the screw nut to secure the scanner. At the back are the status LEDs, the USB Type-C connector and the button to start and pause the scan. To connect the scanner we have this Type-C cable with the screw to lock it. The software is always the same regardless of the scanner model you get and can be downloaded for free on the manufacturer's website. The scanner is detected without the need of installing any additional drivers and the software will know which model you have and its firmware version. When comparing the specs between the different scanners, this is what we see. The Inspire is more indicated for scanning medium-sized models just like the POP3. The single frame accuracy is 0.2 mm which is between the POP3 with 0.1 and the range with 0.3. The resolution is 0.3 mm same as the range. The single capture range is slightly bigger than the POP3 but smaller than the range. The working distance is also slightly bigger than the POP3 but smaller than the range. The scan speed is between 14 and 18 frames per second. And like the POP3 scanner, it's equipped with indicator lights. As for the weight and size, the Inspire is one that has less weight. It's even lighter than the Mini with just 140 grams. The Inspire is also small and just a little bit bigger than the Mini. It also has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. From this, we can say that the scanner that is closer in terms of specs, characteristics, 
to the Inspire is the POP3. So let's make a few scans with the POP3 and the new Inspire and compare them. Right off the bat, and comparing with the POP3 scanner, we notice that the Inspire has a different range. Just like the specs table states about the working distance, we need to move the scanner back a bit to get the range graph inside the optimal window. This will also give us a slightly bigger field of view. Ok, this test bus that came with the scanner was our first scan. Since the bus does not have many big details, both scans look very close. However, the slightly better resolution from the POP3 is noticeable on the bust's hair. Next, we decided to scan objects with different types of features, so it would be easier to compare. We scan models with dark areas like this small bird. Both scanners had to struggle a bit to capture the darker areas. However, we noticed a slightly better performance from the POP3. For the dark areas and as we mentioned on previous videos, special scanner sprays or even baby powder or dry shampoo need to be used to help with the capture. Next, we scan this phase with a plant. We also scan this small Buddha figure. To test a bit more the detail difference, we scan this small turtle figure. Last but not least, and to test the color capture, we scan this big bird. Regarding the results, both scanners had a little bit of hard time to scan the dark areas of the model. However, we can see that the POP3 was a little bit more effective. The scans of the vase and the small Buddha figure show once more that the Inspire can capture the details, however, the POP3 can go the extra mile and capture a bit more detail. The results are not bad and they fit inside what the specs tells us. If we scan the same objects with the POP3 scanner and compare the results side by side with the ones made with the Inspire, we see better what the differences in resolution between the two scanners translate to. The better resolution from the POP3 is noticeable on these small scans. However, although the POP3 scans have more detail, the scans from the Inspire are not that far behind and look good as well. The details might not be as sharp, but are still there in most cases. As for the color scan, we can see that the Inspire can also capture the colors very well just like the POP3. The Inspire is also equipped with a light which is good to help capture the image for the RGB camera. Ok, now for the price. At the moment of this video, the POP3 is being sold at 659 US dollars. The Inspire is planned to be sold at 439 US dollars. It's a 220 US dollars difference between the two scanners. This also means that you have a wide range of choice, so choosing the right model for you will vary according to what kind of objects you want to scan. For scanning small objects, the Mini is definitely the best choice. For medium sized objects, you have the POP3 and the Inspire. The Inspire has slightly less resolution, but it's much cheaper. Finally, for big objects, the range is the best option. So, there you have it. We hope this video helped you guys understand the differences between the new Inspire and the other models. If you want to know more about the other scanners from Revelpoint, check our review videos and their links below in this video description. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye!